just want to say thank you so much. I really enjoyed the show and um, I binged a whole lot. I um, ended up with a really late night because I got to that last episode. and So good, wait, right? Wait. So good, yeah, right? really good. Wanted to see the final. <laughs> I just wanted to get into it. So I really, really enjoyed the show. So I can't wait till everyone gets to watch it uh, when it arrives on April the 26th on Hulu and on Disney Plus in Canada. Um, but I kind of just want to sort of jump off first off and say, what kind of attracted you to these roles? I'll start off with you, Michael. Well, I I felt that I had so many things in common with, with Bill as a, a, opposed to being a... a uh, commercial real estate agent, but I had so many, so many things that I, w- we were so much alike in the sense that love our wives, love our kids, uh, travel together with them all the time. The unthinkable happens on this thing. And I felt that Bill dealt with it in a way that I believe I would do the same. And it was very cathartic for me in moments. It was uh, therapy in a way. Betsy was just, it's so wonderful to do these very hard scenes in general. But when you have people around you that you feel safe with and to be vulnerable in front of them, uh, incredible. I, I, I got very, very lucky. That's cool. And to you, Betsy, the same question. Um, it would like, listen, it, I would never say it was fun. It was, um, we had so much fun um, and we did have fun, but it, but doing these scenes uh, that Michael's talking about, that's what drew me to this. I read the book and I, I related to Mia because it's every parent's worst nightmare, but also all of the material after they lose their daughter and in putting the pieces together and how it affects their relationship, their relationship with their other daughter. There was so much about this that fascinated me. I knew I wanted to play her and to do the scenes, you know, those, those big heavy scenes. I mean, that that's, I mean, it, whatever, it, it, whatever the reason is that makes us crazy people, we want it. it it's why we want to do this. That's cool. And so what was your highlight to work on? this? begin with you, Betty. Um, my highlight was golfing. No, just kidding. Um, Michael, <laughs> Michael said that. And I was very, very upset that. The first now, now listen, if she doesn't say what I said after the golfing Betsy. thing. I'm coming down on you. Um, <laughs> this, this group was an amazing group to work with. I, I, I feel like everybody always says, says this, but this is true. This show would not be what it is if it wasn't for the cohesiveness and the talent um, with this cast and crew. And it's a great story. It's a great story. So like, it wasn't just the kind of, there, there were a lot of challenges. It's, it's, you know, we're anytime you're not shooting on the lot, I, you know, it gets harder. We are way off the lot, you know, Mm -hmm. we're in a different country. We were out in um, the Dominican Republic, which was great to shoot there, but you know, it's, you're not in Hollywood. It's, it's a little bit harder. Um, but this group, especially with the material, I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. That's cool. And same thing to you, Michael. Other well, I, uh, <laughs> I piggyback on what Betsy said. It was an exceptional group and we became very, very close, very quickly thrown into a very dicey situation every now and dicey situations every now and then. And you need people who are not going to panic and freak out when, when that happens, we had the perfect crew. We had the perfect cast for those situations. We're talking about, you know, torrential downpours at any second of the day and what's going to happen. We all work together to, to, to make this uh, happen. Uh, But for me, I loved the debrief at the end of the day with my good friend, Betsy Brandt, I would not, we, we really were going through it together. And oh my God, I could not on, have done this with anyone else. It would, on I'm, not, and, like, I'm not, that's not hyperbole. On and, and, then, off and you're screen. so, and oh, it's just, I love these characters. I love I them. Too. I was so happy when I saw it because the bar was high. I, I just, I fell in love with them. And then I'm, I, I think it's just really good storytelling. I think it's really, really good, good storytelling. storytelling and the way that she, and the way that Lila kind of took the book and, and, and switched up the timelines really made for great television storylines. So I was really, really happy to see that. Yeah. So you're going to really enjoy it. Yeah. I, I loved it. I, I could completely hooked. You read the book? No, I didn't read the book. No, I just watched it. So I didn't, went in completely blind. And yeah, I, I t- totally loved it. Um, but I got to ask you, Michael, um, did you enjoy the, um, the moustache in the um, the Oda scene? I never like a moustache. 
I never like a mustache. Number one, I look like my dad from the 1970s. Number two, <laughs> my wife sees a picture of me with a mustache and she goes, oh, really? They did that again? So, I mean, uh, yeah, time traveler's wife, mustache. I guess that's the only way to differentiate from young actor to like young character to older character. Let's throw some facial hair. I on. thought it was cool. I was like, thought, there is listen, a world in which like it was, it wasn't quite a porn stash, but I felt like you could, I think, I think you float that to the right people. Thank There's you very a, much. Talk the next project. Cheers. Cheers to our hair and makeup staff because they yeah. kicked ass on that mustache. Yeah, they were made it right in front of me. It was kind of cool. Uh, was well, I, I gotta say, <laughs> I, I really, <laughs> I really enjoyed I'm saying X. I thought it was fantastic, and, and you guys really kind of sewed the thing, uh, especially as well with um, the, the scenes, obviously um, set in the i'll say the the present time as well but a a fantastic series can't wait for everyone to be able to watch it so again thank you so much for taking your time out to speak to me today 